Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Google Nexus 5X, and as you can see, it's got a little fingerprint sensor on the back below the camera. The Nexus 6P also has one. It's called Nexus Imprint, and it's Google's new uh, fingerprint sensor, and it is tightly integrated with the operating system, so you can unlock your device or third-party applications that tap into the functionality. Uh, and I just want to show you how it works. You can uh, use it a couple of different ways when you're unlocking your device. You can turn on the device by pressing the power button, and then sort of tap the back. You can skip that, or if you have problems, you can go ahead and use your normal passcode or, uh, or swipe pattern, as the case may be. Or you can turn off the screen altogether and just tap the back and turn it on. So it's in the back as opposed to on the front like some devices, and that's kind of nice because when you're holding the device in your hands, you can just sort of tap the back instead of having to move your thumb into an awkward location. Uh, I'll show you how to set up a fingerprint. Right now I've got it registered to recognize my left and right index fingers. Let's go ahead and add another one. Just sort of place it in a couple of different places or just sort of you know reposition it, take it off and reposition it so that it recognizes your fingerprint from multiple angles. And when it's done, you should be able to turn off your device, tap the back, and turn it on just like that. So again, it's called Nexus Imprint. It's uh, built into the, the latest Nexus phones from Google and it lets you turn on your device pretty easily. Show you how quickly it works. And uh, as third-party developers tap into it, it should make it possible to do other things besides just turn on your device. Uh, so you can authenticate, log in, uh, make mobile payments, etc., using just your fingerprint. So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a quick look at fingerprint authentication using Nexus Imprint on the Nexus 5X. Works exactly the same way on the Nexus 6P.